Hello everyone! I'm going to show you how I got this look using the Esperanza palette by Kat Von D. And I'm also going to talk about using some of these shadows with Fix Plus by MAC, eyeshadow primers, tightlining, and fallout. So these are just some screen grabs or screenshots, whatever you like to call them, of me getting ready to film just so I could fill up a little time here in the beginning. I found two of the shadows to be a little bit difficult to work with. They are Selena and Santeria. They're very pretty colors, but I don't know if it's because they have micro glitter in them or if they're just not very pigmented, but I recommend spraying your eyeshadow brush with Fix Plus by MAC before you use these colors, which unfortunately I didn't think of doing until after I filmed this video. So here you can see I have four swatches on my wrist. They are of Selena and Santeria. The top two swatches were using a dry eyeshadow brush and the bottom two swatches I sprayed my eyeshadow brush with Fix Plus by MAC before I got them out of the pan. This made them easier to work with, made the colors more vibrant, and decreased some of the fallout. There is a lot of fallout with these two shadows. Here I've turned my wrist a little bit toward the light so you get um, a sense of how they look in different lighting. Now in this shot, I applied Day Glow, the transformer shade, over the four swatches. On the left, I used a dry eyeshadow brush, and on the right, I used one with Fix Plus on it. And again, now I've turned my wrist toward the light a little bit. So I'm not sure if I would recommend using Fix Plus with Day Glow unless you want people to see your eyeshadow from space, uh, because it is a little frosty. My next recommendation when working with this palette is to use a sticky primer. I have dry eyelids so I typically use Shadow Insurance by Too Faced because it's a creamier formula than most primers I would say. But I also use Urban Decay's primer potion sometimes so if I had this tutorial to do all over again I would use that uh, instead of Shadow Insurance. You'll see what I mean later on. Here I've swatched the least pigmented color from this palette, Selena, on my arm. On the top is over Urban Decay's Primer Potion and on the bottom is over Too Faced's Shadow Insurance. So I think the color came out a lot better over Urban Decay. Now I'm about to tightline with Urban Decay's 24-7 Glide On Eye Pencil in the color Crave. It's a matte black, but it's not the blackest black you'll ever see. This double-ended eye pencil was designed to go with the Naked Basics palette. In fact, all the Naked eyeshadow palettes have a corresponding double-ended eye pencil. The other color on this pencil is Venus. It is an off-white shimmer, and it is... You could decorate a cake with it, let's put it that way. It's super shimmery. So now I'm going to talk about tight lining. If you wear contact lenses or have sensitive eyes or if you're um, not sure about tight lining, I would ask your eye doctor first if it's safe. But um, for this tutorial, I'm going to tell you why it's a good way for people with hooded eyes to wear eyeliner. Those of us with hooded eyes have precious little space on, I would say, I would call it the lower part of your upper eyelid. Um, it's either totally occluded by the hooded part of your eyelid or partially. Um, for me it's partially, so I do have some lid space there. But if I wear eyeliner, then it's almost like I have no lid space. So if I'm going to wear eyeliner, I'll wear um, a fun color or something like that. So tight lining is great because it doesn't take up any of that eyelid space and it makes your lashes look fuller and longer. So here I am tight lining. I had to do most of it off camera um, so I could see the mirror. I couldn't see my mirror and look in the lens at the same time. So now it's time to bust out our palettes. We're going to use Selena, Dayglow, South, Archangel, and Santeria. First we're going to go in with Archangel. I would recommend having two eyeshadow brushes, one dry and one to use with Fix Plus. Because really the only shadows I think you need to use with Fix Plus or something like it um, are, is uh, Selena and Santeria. 
So here I'm putting Archangel all over my lid and I'm really packing it on. I needed to use a lot. Um, it's kind of translucent and I wanted it to be more opaque so I, I packed on a lot of it. It's like a mint green or a seafoam green color. Has some uh, shimmer to it or maybe even some micro glitter. Not as much as um, Selena and Santeria though. Bringing it all the way up, uh, stopping short of the brow bone. Wiping off the brush. I'm going to put south on my brow bone. It kind of matches my skin tone so it covers up the veins up there. <laughs> I don't know if you can really see them on camera, but in person you can see my veins. So kind of like Archangel, I needed to use a lot. Wiping off the brush again. And now we're going to go in with Santeria on the hood of our eye. Hood of our eyelid. The trick for um, to do eye makeup for hooded eyes is to use dark colors on the hood to keep the um, lower part of the upper lid, if you will, um, light and to keep the brow bone light but to darken the hood area. And it works the same way as contouring for your face. It's like contouring for your eyes. Same principle. It makes it recede. And truth be told, this is uh, kind of one of the reasons why I got into makeup. Um, my hood has grown over the years, and um, I guess it's genetic. And I went for a couple of, uh, oh, here we're bringing it down to the outer corner. I went for a couple of consultations for blepharoplasty and decided I would try to use makeup instead. So here you can see some fallout on my cheek and that was one of the other things I wanted to talk about. Um, the best way to deal with fallout is to put your foundation on after you've applied your eye makeup. Um, another way is to wear eyeshadow shields that are made for the delicate eye area and you just peel them off when you're done. And another way is to pack on some loose powder, or actually a generous amount of loose powder, under your eye area. And then when you're done with the makeup, just sweeping it off with a fan brush or a stippling brush, as you can see here. Okay, wiping off the brush again, the shadow brush. Um, now I'm going to go in with Archangel and just kind of smooth it over where I had put it on the lid and to kind of um, meet up with Santeria. Actually, that was more Santeria there. Now I'm going in with a brush that I use for eyeshadow if I'm going to want to apply it over a large area of my eye. It's bigger and fluffier than my regular eyeshadow brush. So now I'm finally going to use Day Glow, the Transformer shade. And I'm going to be, let's see, putting it over the lid, bringing it up, and also putting it in the inner corner in like the first third, I would say, of the uh, lower lash line. And now I'm going to take my Tapered Crease Eyeshadow Brush from Ulta. And this is what I'm going to use to put Selena on with. I'm going to put it on the tip here. Tapping off the excess. And just using windshield wiper motions and pushing it in. Anything I can do to kind of get that to stick. That's why I'm saying use a sticky primer with, with this palette. Putting on Day Glow again. And now you can start to see how it transforms the colors that it goes on top of. 
taking another crease brush from Ulta. This one's um, longer than the other one and has a dome top. And I'm going to use this to blend out the shadow. And since I went near, <laughs> since I went near Selena with a brush, I have to put more on because because it came off. Not all of it, but some of it, as you can see. Okay. And I'm going to take Santeria and line my lower lash line starting from the outer corner working my way in about two-thirds of the way in I would say. And now what I'm going to do, wipe off the, wipe off the brush, I'm going to take Archangel and connect where I have um, Day Glow to uh, Santeria right there to create a gradient or an ombre effect. It's subtle, but those are the kind of finishing touches that really bring the look together. Now I'm going to curl my lashes. And I have a sample size of a Sephora mascara, Atomic Volume. It's black and it has a rubber applicator. And I found it to be pretty easy to work with. Up close you can see how pretty the shadows are. I love this palette. Oh my goodness. So pretty. Perfect for spring. And it's limited edition. Combing out the lashes. Just making the finishing touches, making sure that it's even with the other side. And there we have some day glow on the brow bone. Love it cleaning everything up finally <laughs> so just for fun since we're using Kat Von D on our eyes I figured I would use my Kat Von D transformer liquid lipstick in the color super liminal it's the same principle as the day glow eyeshadow it's meant to be put over a matte lipstick to transform whatever color lipstick you have. But here I just use it as a lip gloss over my bare lips. It is a lip gloss. I don't know why they call it a lips, liquid lipstick. But her other liquid lipsticks do um, dry matte. All right, I'm giving the horns because it's a kind of a punk look. And before I forget, I wanted to show you my fabulous nail polish by OPI. I love this color. It's called Flashbulb Fuchsia. And I love everything about it except it's, uh, it chips fairly easily. Bye for real. Thanks for watching.